Welcome back fellow coders, Jared O'Leary here with Boot Up. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can toggle language with a button. So for example, we have here a project that is an interactive digital artifact. And so we've got a buffalo and you click on different parts of the buffalo, it's going to say different things. So if I click on the hooves, it says this thing down here, which is neat. However, if I actually press this button, it's going to toggle it so we can hear somebody speaking, myself. Hooves and foot bones were used to make glue, rattles, toys, and more. Okay, so that's a pretty cool idea that you can use to change between speech and text. However, I want to show you how you can use that to change between different languages. So let me go ahead and stop this. All right, so in our project, what we're going to do is we're going to delete Scratch Cap. We don't need a Scratch Cap. We're actually going to add in a button. So we're going to go button. Oops, typing in Japanese. And I'm going to go ahead and use this one. Okay. So inside of here, we're going to have two different costumes. So one costume is going to be for English. English. So I'm going to go ahead and add in the text for that. Now I'm going to move it into the middle. Cool. So now I want to have a, another one. And so this is going to be in... Let me adjust my settings here real quick. In Japanese, so Nihongo. So that's that means Japanese, by the way. Nihongo. Okay. So I am learning Japanese. Nihongo o naraimasu. And so what I want to do is make it so that I can switch between the two different languages by just pressing a button. So I've got English, I've got Japanese, and I've got them labeled with the costumes correctly. What we're going to do is we're going to make a variable. So we're going to go into my variables and we can make a new one right here. And we could call this language. Could be for one sprite, could be for all sprites. But because I'm going to make another sprite talk, I'm going to make it for all sprites. Okay, so for this one, we've made our variable, we've called it language. And what we're going to do is when we press the green flag, we're going to set our language to English. And then when we click, let me zoom in, make it a little bit easier to see. We're going to change this a bit. So let's also set our costume to English as well, just so we're on the starting on English for our variable and for our costume. We're going to use an if else block. So the if else block is a conditional block. And we're going to make it so that if we click on it and it's English, it's going to switch to Japanese. And if we click on it with Japanese, it's going to switch to English. Okay. So we're going to need two blocks in each one of these. So the first block we're going to do is we're going to say if it's English, we want it to switch to Japanese. And if it's Japanese, we want it to switch to English. Then we want to use a variable block, variable block, can't speak we're going to set it to the correct language. So for this one, we're going to say Nihon Go. So we're going to set it to Japanese. And then we're going to set this one to English. Okay, so now we got to figure out is, okay, what's the condition? What's the if in here? So we're going to say if the language equals English, then we want to set it to Japanese. Otherwise, else, if it's Japanese, we want to set it to English. So now let's check this out. So I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. So when I click this button, it should now switch not only the costume, but also the language right here. Okay, so I click, and now it's switching to the correct one. All right, so our button is working great. It's making so that it switches between them. So now we're going to make it so that the other sprites will actually change the language depending on which one is selected. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to go ahead and pick a random sprite. All right, I got a talking stop sign. Cool, just what I wanted. Okay, so just like with before, we're going to say when the sprite is clicked, we're going to say something depending on what language we are using. So for example, we might say, Good morning, if it's English. And then if it's Japanese, we might say, Ohayo gozaimasu. Okay. And just like before, we're going to use the same condition. So we're going to say, if the language is English, 
then we're going to have it speak English. But otherwise, if the language is Japanese, we're going to have it say Ohayou gozaimasu, which means good morning. Okay, so let's try this out. So we click. It says Ohayou gozaimasu because it's Japanese. And we click. It says good morning, and it's in English. And by the way, you can do the same thing with some audio. So instead of using this, we could have it have different sounds. So this could be in Japanese right here, and then it could be in English up here. You just have to record two different audio tracks. And by the way, just a little bonus tip. If you wanted to add in more than two different languages to pick from, you just got to add in more than two costumes in here, and then you're going to use nested conditionals. So what that looks like is like this. So let's say we have English is an option um, right here. We have Japanese, and then maybe we have like a made-up language um, called... So what you would do is just switch between these and make it so that if it was set to whatever the thing is above, oh, it's a different language, then it just keeps doing this, okay? So you nest them inside of here, and you can just keep adding in more languages in here so you can toggle between all your different options. Then, in your sprites that are talking, you just include the same type of code. So you just keep nesting between them. Cool? All right, so hopefully this helps you out with creating your own toggle button between different languages or between speech and text. And hopefully you try and make it a little bit more fancy than what I did with this code. So maybe you can make it so that your button presses down and then it lifts back up, etc. So you can do a lot of really cool things with this. So make sure you check out the guide below for some more ideas. Thank you so much for watching this video. Let us know something that you learned or created in the comments below. And make sure to subscribe, like, and check out the links in the description for even more free resources, such as videos, free lesson plans, and our podcast.